When we ask for help, it can have a lot of meanings. Especially when it comes to our emotions. SafeUT is a no-cost, confidential app that connects you with a licensed counselor who's there to help you through any sized struggle you may be going through. Sometimes it's a temporary obstacle, and you just need someone to talk you to the other side. Other times, it's not so temporary. A counselor is someone who can be there for you. Listening and providing cover. And sometimes, life can get so overwhelming. You feel like you're fighting to survive. That's when a counselor can be a lifeline. You can call, you can text, it can be for you. Or you can use the anonymous tip line for someone you're worried might hurt themselves or others. SafeUT is here for you, whether it's something big, something small, or something where you're not even sure what it is. Don't ignore it. Try talking to someone. It's always better to be safe. The SafeUT app is a great resource for students, teachers, parents, and all community members. So let's learn how to use it. Before we start, you need to make sure you have parent permission to download the app. Open your phone and find your App Store link. Go to the App Store and search SafeUT. Once you find your Safe UT, you will download and install the app. Again, make sure that you have parent permission. Once the app is downloaded, click on the Safe UT link. You will be sent to a Terms and Condition page. Make sure you review this Terms and Conditions before you accept. Once you have accepted, you'll be taken to a page where you are given three options. Make sure you click on Primary Education. Then you'll be taken to a page where you can type in in the search bar, Timview High School. You will create a password. This will be your password to get into the app. Once you've created your password, it's going to take you to a page that is given four options. Those four options are start a chat, submit a tip, start a call, or view existing chats and tips. To submit a chat, you will be taken directly to a page that you can start a text conversation with a licensed mental health professional. Now let's submit a tip. You will be taken to a category section where you can identify what your concern is. Once you have selected the category, you will be taken to event information. In this box, you will fill out the details of your concern. You will then click next and be taken to who was involved box. In here, you place who was directly involved with your concern. Once you click next, you will then enter the date and time of the event. You will then be taken to a location of the event. Is this at home, school, where did your concern happen? The photo section is optional and does not have to be completed. The last section is a summary of your concern. It will go over all the details and you can make adjustments as needed. Then you will click submit. Once you have finished, your concern will be forwarded to a mental health professional. They may ask you additional questions as follow up, but you have successfully completed your safe Utah tip. If you have concerns and do not feel comfortable using the Safe Utah app, you can go to administration, counseling, the school social worker, any trusted adult at Timview High School, or your parents.